Hey folks, today I want to talk about thermostats. I've got some round Honeywell T87 thermostats. I want you to notice this is a mercury thermostat. Here's the mercury bulb. This here is the next thermostat. It's a rectangular thermostat. This happens to be a White Rogers. Okay, you notice it's a mercury thermostat. And here's this another old school thermostat that was a vertical thermostat. And it's a mercury thermostat. Now what people are doing, they're taking these thermostats they're, they're taking these mercury thermostats and they're taking them off the wall and they're wanting to put new digital thermostats on. And why do they want to put new digital thermostats? First of all, the old mercury thermostats, they had a bi-metal strip around them and they would get dust on them and they would act as an insulator and they wouldn't be accurate. They may be four or five degrees off. Another reason they want to change them is because they're actually more energy efficient. You can save up to $200 a year putting in a digital thermostat. They're safer for the planet. They have less moving parts they're safer for your home because you don't have the mercury so they're taking these thermostats and they're, they're switching them off the wall first thing you've got to do when you go to replace your thermostat is shut your breaker off the second thing you've got to do you have got to take a picture of the current and existing wires or you have to take your notepad out and write all the wires down with the colors or also there is a well a lot of times there is a um, a little schematic that comes in your diagram box when, when you get a new thermostat it'll have the R and the C and the green so you can mark the wires that's on the terminal blocks of your existing thermostat so let's talk about that look right here so let's take this round Honeywell this T87 and I really want you to look at this closely so you look at this wire you see this O wire this O wire you should have an orange wire on the bottom of that wire okay let's just say it's an orange wire okay this wire here let's look at this this here is a um, W wire this wire could be white this wire G see that G that could be green this wire here is R that's the red wire this wire here is B now it depends on if your uh, unit is energized on heat or cool if it's a energized on heat you would put the B and that should be the ream or the rud units okay and the O terminal here which would be your orange wire is the wire that would go on pretty much anything else your train your carriers your goodmans those are all energized and cool so now let's talk about this now we've taken all the wires off of this one and we have marked them now let's move over here it's the same thing you've got a G terminal you've got an RC terminal an RH they've got a little jumper here the only time you'd have any difference if you had two transformers, which is rare of the case. You have a W terminal. If it's a heat pump, it'll be the first stage you're heating. Here's the B terminal if you had energized on heat again. And then the O terminal if you had energized on cool. Now, you notice these two are exactly the same. Nothing special. We're going to go one more time, and I'm just going to repeat myself again. Here is your O terminal your B terminal, your W terminal, your Y terminal, your red, and green. So once again, most of the time, industry standard, you're going to use the white wire, the yellow wire, the red wire, the green wire. Now, we've taken all of our wires off. We have marked our wires. We have taken a picture of our wires. We have a mental picture of our wires. Okay, the point I'm making is, before you take them off, mark the wires. Now, let's take to our new digital thermostat over here. Okay, so let's say we got a White Rogers here. This is a White Rogers. This is a heat pump thermostat. So notice over here we have the white wire. You have a W2 terminal if it's a heat pump, okay? You have a C terminal here, which is common, which is usually going to be blue. You have the red terminal right here. Can you see the R? The red terminal here. You have the G terminal, which is going to be green. This is O or B. On the new digital thermostats, you would put your O wire or your B wire on this terminal. But I want you to notice, on this particular thermostat, there's a switch. You look real close. This is the O, and this is the B. If my unit energizes on cool, if I had a, and just for instance, let's say I come over here, and I had a orange wire on this O terminal, I would put my orange wire on this terminal here, and then I would flip the switch to B. Uh, excuse me oh okay now I'm just going to move forward again and it's another thermostat okay once again 
RC, red, Y is yellow, W is going to be, uh, what you're going to do on this particular wire here, if you have a heat pump, you're going to put your orange or your O wire here. If you look down here, that's what it says to do. Orange or O, okay? And on this thermostat, there'll be a programming a switch on this particular thermostat. This will be your green wire. This will be your white wire for your uh, emergency heat, okay? Which is going to be emergency heat. It's this thing right here. That's what this emergency heat looks like, okay? Y2 would be two-stage cooling if you had two compressors. I'm just going to move along. Here's a train. Another Honeywell. Same exact thing. I am not going to repeat myself. Same exact thing. Nothing special here, guys. Here is a Honeywell Pro 4000 thermostat. It's, a, it's basically a little simple programmable thermostat. Simple heat cool off. But once again, white, yellow, green, O, R, C. Very, very simple. This particular thermostat is designed for heat pump or gas or oil. Very simple. And then here's uh, one of my favorite, which is the Nest thermostat. Okay? So, Nest thermostat has came out and theirs are round. So, think about it. Full circle. Started with the round Honeywell T87 back 25, 30 years ago and ended up with the Nest round thermostat. But theirs is very simple too. You've got your Y1, which is first stage compressor. Y2 if you had two stage compressor. G would be green. Once again, you got the O and B. Now this particular one, you got R, C, and RH. You only got to put your wire in one. This is your common. This will be for your auxiliary heat. That's your white wire. And that's for your backup unit just in case you had some other issues with the other heat. Guys, I, I just want you to think about how simple that is. Now pay attention when you are taking your wires off and don't get all crazy because you have a mercury thermostat here and you got a digital thermostat here. I'm going to show you something here on a piece of paper that I put together for you. The white wire is the heat strip. The yellow wire is the compressor. I did not bring a second compressor, but you'd have two compressors if you had a Y2. Auxiliary heat is going to theoretically going to be the reversing valve of the heat pump. The green wire is the blower. The orange wire is this reversing valve, okay, which is the heat pump. The B wire energizes on heat. The O wire energizes on cool. You pay attention to that, okay? Because sometimes I have customers call me and says, I put my new thermostat on and it's not heating or cooling. A few times they've had it on the wrong wire. They've had it on the B or the O. Or they didn't flip their switches in the back. They've, they've got to learn to flip these switches here. There's a programming issue with every single thermostat that you buy. And you want to buy one very simple. And I, I actually recommend the Honeywell Pro 4000 is what I would recommend because they are about as simple as it gets. The red wire is the hot and the blue. That's this, that's this device right here. That's what makes it. So let's talk about this. Now, I've got a heat pump and I want to decide... I put my thermostat, first of all, let's just say, is my thermostat bad? I think it's bad. Well, how do we test it? Let's say I have a heat pump. What you're going to do, you're going to take this yellow wire. You're going to take the green wire. You're going to take the red wire. And you're going to take the orange wire and tie them all together. You're going to wire them together at the thermostat. So what you're going to do here, you're going to take... I'm just going to do this real quick. So I'm going to take these wires. Let's just do it this way. So let's just take, if I take the yellow wire, I take the green wire, I take the red wire, and I take the orange wire. Now just pretend that I'm in the back of a thermostat, okay? I'm going to strip them off, and I'm going to put a wire in there, and I'm going to tie them together. If that outdoor unit comes on during the cooling cycle, the outdoor comes on, it cools, the indoor unit comes on, it's blowing air, then it was a bad thermostat, okay? That's one scenario that you have to learn to deal with, guys. Now, let's talk about it's in the wintertime and I have no heat and I'm freezing. I had a lady call me the other day from Alabama and they had that storm down there. So I, I think my thermostat is bad or something's not working. So I'm going to take my wires off my thermostat and I'm going to tie my white wire together and tie my 
green wire together, and I'm going to tie my red wire together. What happens when you tie these three together? It actually turns on the blower, turns on the heat, and turns on hot. So you're just going to go to your thermostat, and you're going to tie your white wire, your green wire, and your red wire together. So once again, just pretend like you've got them stripped back, and you're wiring them together. If there's something wrong with the outdoor unit, the defrost board is bad, the compressor is bad, it's frozen up, you have issues, you need some heat, you tie these three wires together and you'll have heat and it'll be that heat strip over there, okay? And it should be sized enough in order to bring your house up to, to warm it up, okay? Now let's talk about cool one more time. Okay, if you, if you're, um, if you're cooling, you want and your out, your indoor unit's not working, your outdoor unit's not working, you, and you think your thermostat bad, you really want to go with compressor, blower, and transformer, and then we still want to go ahead and hook up. If it is a um, heat pump, you're going to take this wire right here. Okay, you're going to tie those together. That's three ways, guys, that you know you can have heat or cool. In the summer or winter what we're going to do here we're going to try to do a couple more videos and i'm going to try to make this really uh simple for my homeowners and my customers especially my elderly people that need some help i really wish i could reach out and help these guys sometimes i'm on the phone for 15 20 minutes and i have my heart goes out to these guys they, they really need some help sincerely bad if you have any suggestions for me to help make things easier or better explanation please go on Google to our blog underneath the uh, channel and, and type in a question for us and we'll do our best to try to help you, okay? We're going to put all this information on our website, jonesairconditioning.com, and, and we're going to do everything we can for you guys. I'm, I'm here for you. I really want to help you out, okay? If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.